For this recording, I want to have a look at how you could create a perfume bottle with some embossed writing on the surface. Okay, um, just a very simple um, idea. So I'm going to start off with a uh, new blank studio, or part studio, and then, or you would start with a new document. Okay. I can first of all work on my top work plane and put a new sketch on that. And we'll put look straight at that. I'm going to take my ellipse tool and just draw a ellipse out from here. I'm going to make that about 100 millimeters um, wide by about 50 millimeters tall. So 100 okay, there, by 50. It can all be edited later on. And we'll just green tick that. <clears throat> and then going to offset a new plane based on this. So new plane offset. I'm going to do this one at 150. Okay, 150. Okay, I'm just offset that up. So I've got a new work plane here. Okay, on that new plane, I'm going to put another sketch. Okay, let's put a new sketch on that. And we'll draw a, another ellipse. And this time, we're going to make that concentric with the other ones, so starting from the origin. Uh, similar width, so about 100. And this one's going to be slightly narrower um, or shallower at about 40. So 100 wide. And I'm going to do 40 for my depth. You can do what you like. Okay, there. Okay, that gives me two ellipses there. Let's create another work plane from that based on this work plane here. So, there. And um, we'll do this one at, say, 70 on this one. Yeah, 70. Okay, offset. And onto that, I'll put a, another new sketch. Okay. <coughs> and we'll look straight at that one. And again, another. Um, uh, concentric, but this time it's going to be a circle, starting from the center out, and we'll do this one at say uh, 30. Yeah, 30 will do. Okay, there, and green tick that. Um, actually, I might do that at 40. Actually, that's pretty a bit narrow. We'll do this one at 40. Remember, it's all editable anyway, and you can change it later on. Okay, there we are. So green tick that, and then one last work plane based on this one here. There. Um, we'll do this one at, say, 20 millimeters above it, okay? Um, and we'll put a new sketch onto that new work plane, the last one here, okay? Um, press N, so looking straight at it, and one last concentric circle, um, similar, probably about 40 again. There. Okay, cool. So I should now have a series of um, ellipses and uh, circles there. Okay. And we're just going to loft through them. So I'm going to take our loft tool. I'm going to pick the first ellipse, the second ellipse. Um, it's important to do this in order. The first circle and the last circle like that. And that will then give us quite a nice uh, belly, belly shape there. And again, we can edit any of these at any time. So there's a, a nice sort of perfumey type bottle there. I'm going to press P to lose my work planes. And um, whilst I'm there, I'm just going to shell it out as well. So take the shell tool. I'm going to pick the top surface here and shell it out about two and a half mil. That'd be nice. That gives me a nice hollow shape to deal with. And we'll do a little bit of filleting on this as well. So let's do filleting on the bottom here. Um, we'll do that at five mil. Okay, there. Give a nice rounded um, base. And we can do the top lip as well. Let's see. Uh, take a fillet tool. We'll do this probably at about one mil. So we'll take the inner surface for that round off. Yes, that will. And then we'll do the outer surface there as well. Yep, there we go. And just round that off nicely. That's, that's nice. Okay, right. So <clears throat> next thing, I want to be able to, um, to plot how I'm going to put um, writing on this surface here. Now, we could just write straight on it, but I want to have a bit of a recess into this first. So I'm going to put back my work planes for the set for the moment, and I'm going to grab my front work plane and create an offset from that. Okay, and the offset is going to be about 25 mil, which is what the default comes out as there. So this can be plane four if it comes up. Okay, so that's my plane four. So we're going to hide on my work planes and just show plane four. And on plane four, I'm going to um, put a new sketch. So I'm looking straight at it. Press N. And there we have it, like that. We just rotate this around a little bit. And we'll rotate it around this way. So there we are. We're looking straight at it. Cool. Okay. Oops, now it just wants to swing around. Okay, it's being shy today. 
That'll do. Okay. Right, so on that work plane, I want to draw the shape that I want to recess into my into my bottle here. So I'm going to take, um, again, I'm going to do my ellipse. It doesn't have to be an ellipse, but it just works out quite nicely there. So I'm going to do an ellipse at the bottom here. I'm just going to do the bottom base for it. So try to keep it so it's actually um, uh, horizontal. So there, I'm going to do that about um, 80 by, I don't know, uh, probably about 25, 30 maybe, yeah, 20, 80 by, by 30 would be nice. Okay, there, and 30. Okay. Again, you don't have to put dimensions in, but that, that works out quite nicely. I'm going to take another ellipse, and this time it's going to be in line with it. It's going to be slightly higher up, about there. I'll drag that across, and we'll do this one at 80 by 30 as well. So um, 80 by 30. Okay. don't have to, but this works out quite nicely. And then we'll join across using a straight line from this point to this point here. Okay, there. Um, we'll do another one from this point to here. So we have two vertical lines put in there. Cool. I'll just get out of that. We'll take our scissors and just cut out the bits that we don't need. So this part and this part here. Cool. Okay. So that gives me a surface or a, an image on my offset work plane. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is to split this onto my surface now. So I'm going to take my split tool here. I'm going to grab my face, grab the surface of the um, of the bottle, and entity to split with, and we'll use these lines that we just drew earlier to split. Okay, and that should project onto the surface of the bottle, like so. And because it's one surface, it has gone all the way through, which is fine because I want to use something on the back back side as well. That's fine. Okay, green tick that. <coughs> so that gives me a nice surface there. Let's hide my work planes again. Oops. Okay, so this is an individual surface. Well, it's, an, it's, it's defined by the line that I've just put onto it. So what I can do now, I can click on that and I can then use my, um, my uh, let's see, offset surface here. Now this is a little trick that I found. If I click on that and set it to offset, but don't actually give any, any measurement to it, so it creates a new surface, just in that area there, so it isolates this just this part from the rest of this part here. Okay, creates a new surface. Okay, there. Now that would be a new color, but we'll come to um, that, that later on. Okay, and then I can then take my thicken tool and just pick up just this surface here. Okay, and I can decide what I want to do with it. So I could um, move, bring it out, or I could um, remove it to go back into the bottle. Okay, and you will probably have to merge with all when you do that as well. Okay, and then you specify how deep you want it to go. Well, I only want it to go one mil. Okay, so there, one mil into it. Because I merge with all, it should intersect into that and actually give me a nice recess into the into the bottle there. Okay, so that's that's quite cool. Um, it looks a bit sharp at the minute, so I will um, just um, add a fillet to that. So I'm going to um, click on that surface and then click on Fillet, and that should then give me a nice filleted edge, depending on what I've, what I've specified here. Let's do this at, uh, should we try on 2 mil? Is it 2 mil going to be too much? 12 mil, but 2 mil might, might work. Yeah, that's going to be a nice sort of rounded, rounded edge there for that. Okay, good. That looks quite nice. <coughs> okay, so that gives me a nice recess into this. And again, I've, I've lost my surface because the tool went when I did the thicken, but that's given me quite a nice um, recess into that. Okay, so let's now have a look at adding some text to this. I'm going to bring back my work planes again, so I'm going to bring back plane 4 onto this, um, select that, and I'm going to select a new sketch on that surface. Okay, so I want to put some text onto this surface here, so I'm going to use my text tool this time. Um, and we'll specify where we actually want this to go. So let's have, make sure we're looking at the front here. And I want this actually to be uh, um, going sideways. So let me just rotate this round there. Okay. And I'm going to draw my box out for my text. Now you may find this might get a little bit funny, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, there. And I'm going to pick up the name Pong. I quite like that as a name of a perfume, Pong. And I'll pick on the, the font that I want. Um, See, with this slab, that might be okay. 
Yeah, slab is quite nice. And I'll do that bold as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, um, I could fiddle around with flipping horizontal and flipping vertical, but I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, now when it first comes out, you think, okay, well, hang on, it's rotated the wrong way. How can I get it to actually be the right way around for me? Well, the trick is that, of course, there is a constraint which has, um, this is adopted, which assumes that it, that it has to follow the, um, the correct way here, which is not what we need. So I'm going to show my constraints, and I'm going to um, lose this horizontal constraint that's been already applied to the lettering. So I'm going to click on that and then hit delete and take that off. Now this is a free moving object. Okay. And one of the tools that I have is somewhere along here, this one, I have a transform tool here. And I can use that to rotate this object around. So I can take the, um, the handle here and I should be able to then rotate that around. I think, can I grab that one? Select the, select the shape, there you go, that one there. And I should be able to pick up a handle and I should be able to move it. Can I rotate it as well? Um, let's try that again. Let's click on the shape there, and that shape there. Oh, yes, there's a handle here. There we go, and I can rotate that around. So if I rotate that to that side, okay, 90 degrees, click. Okay, and that, should, that will rotate it for me. So there is a transform tool. The other way is that you could um, uh, lose the horizontal. Um, part to it and then transform it that way by um, by just simply rotating it use by aligning it with, with another object. Um, I want to actually now also put a construction line here for the size of it as well. Um, actually no, I'm going to define its, define its width first, its height. So I'll define that. Let's do that at say 20. Is that going to be too small? No, it's too small. Let's try and do that a bit bigger. Let's do that at 30. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so gives me some lettering there. Let's come off that tool. I can then grab hold of the handle and I can pull that to where I want this on my on my my vase there. That, that can do nice. I might have to just adjust a couple of items later on, but that, that should work. I'll bring this in a little bit. What I might do is also just take my transform tool and click on this object again. So click on my click on the object first. Yeah, there, there we are. Just rotate that around. I'm not sure this better in here. Let's see. Yeah, that might work better. And I can use my arrow tool to move it around. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. Right, so now I want to um, to project this into this space here. I'm just going to change the height of this just a fraction less because it's just slightly too big. Let's do that 27. We won't do that. Okay, we'll do that later on. Right. Um, yeah, no, that's not going to do it. Why is that? Is that because I've already got a, I've already got a measurement on it? Haven't I? That's fine. Brr. Okay, let's do this one here. Twenty-seven. Yeah, that will do. Right. That's better. Now I can then move this and make sure this is fitted in better. That's it. There. That'll do. Okay. So now I want to project this onto the bottle in the same way that we did before using the split tool. So I'm going to confirm that sketch. <coughs> I'm going to take my split tool here. The face that I wanted to go onto is this little surface here. And the entity I want to split with is the lettering that I've got here. And that should project straight onto the side of the bottle there. That'll do. Right, let's green tick that. Okay, then now. I can then take this surface here, I'm going to take my thicken tool, and I'm just going to pick up the lettering. So one, two, okay, three, four, five, and six parts there. Okay, now it looks a little bit too much for me there. I don't want it to be that, that far out. Let's put it, put it to only one mil, okay, there. Should come out nicely. There we are. Okay. And of course, I probably want to fill it this as well. So I'm going to take my fillet tool and I'm just going to grab the surfaces of these letters here, just the top surface. And that should now probably two mil is too much. Let's do it to one mil. Yeah, because there's already a red line that's appeared there for me. There we go. And that should come down. Hopefully, it will work with more. Uh, one mil may be too much. Oh no, that seems to be happier now. Where's the edge that it's picked up that it doesn't like? It doesn't like this edge. 
edge here for some reason. Edge there. Um, let's try this on 0.5. Are we happy? Yeah, that's happier there. 0.5 is fine. Okay, green tick that. And there we have some lettering on the front of our bottle. Okay, there. Okay, let's um, hide our work planes. Okay, there. And there we have a perfume bottle with some embossed lettering on a surface by using our split tool to put it on there. This gets around having to try and use the wrap tool to get lettering on. That works out quite nicely. Okay, looking forward to seeing your results.